Hi everyone. Today we will have a discussion about a pro uh, some problems of uh, development of solids. So what is development uh, uh, the, which you have already gone through the previous uh, video lecture. So in this uh, video lecture we will discuss about the development of a pyramid and a development of a prism. So first of all uh, let us discuss about the development of a pyramid. So here I am considering a hexagonal pyramid. Uh, so the base will be a hexagon and there is an apex and uh, six triangular faces. So when you develop, uh, you will get a figure like this. This is the development, complete development of a hexagonal pyramid. Six triangular faces, one, two, three, four, etc. Six and a uh, base which is a hexagon. Uh, if it is a pentagon, you will have five triangular faces and uh, a base which is a pentagon. If it is a square prism, likewise. Uh, now let us uh, solve a problem how we are obtaining this problem 1 draw the development of a hexagonal pyramid of base side 25 mm and height 70 mm so as a step 1 as indicates you have to draw the orthographic view so the orthographic view is uh, nothing but it will be a hexagon and in the front view you will get a uh, triangle you name the figure as a b c d e f similarly in the front view it has a dash b dash etc now here you can see uh, in this particular if you are resting the hexagon as base edge perpendicular to the xy line you can see that none of the slant edges are parallel to xy so correspondingly its front view will not give, uh, not, uh, none of the front view will give slant edges will give the true length so what you have to do you have to uh, rotate uh, any of the slant edges parallel to xy line in order to get the true length so here i am taking oc uh, this is the case if uh, the hexagon is resting perpendicular to the uh, base edge is perpendicular to xy if it is parallel to xy this issue won't come so you uh, i am here i am taking oc so take oc i am rotating oc as you can see in the figure projecting it upwards so you will get the point c double dash and uh, join it so you will get the point o dash c double dash so the in step two most important thing is you have to find the true length and measure this o dash c double dash now in the next step you have, uh, now you are going for the step of development you measure this particular length o dash c double dash you draw that o dash c o you draw that particular length here this length is nothing but o dash c double dash that means nothing but it is a length of true length and uh, with the center as o and uh, this particular length as a true length as the radius you just draw an arc of uh, we cannot we will not get the length you just draw an arc okay so draw a line equal to true length and draw an arc as shown in figure you just draw an arc and in the next step you know that the base is nothing but 25 so you measure this particular length 25 in compass place here mark 25 cut it here cut it here cut it here how many sides are there you cut that much sides here you are having six sides so one two three four five six okay so that means divide the arc into six equal parts of length equal to the base of the hexagon here the base is given as 25 so you measure take 25 in compass and cut it if it is uh, whatever be the length take that particular length and in the next step you join this line from o you connect uh, you draw a line to the end point of the arc so join this line okay so it looks uh, similar to the that of uh, the development of a cone but here we are this is nothing but it is a pyramid so you have to join the ends so in the next figure you can see you join from a to b b to c c to d d to e f and again finally a so this is the development of a uh, pyramid uh, hexagonal pyramid if it is pentagonal pyramid you will have five uh, the most important thing you have to notice uh, you have to draw this line is nothing but it is a length of true length 
if true length is there you can start drawing directly if true length is not there you have to follow this procedure by making the top your slanted uh, top view parallel to xy line and finding the true length and continue so this is the final solution now let's check, let's check about the development of a prism now what is a prism is a prism consists of two bases so here we are considering a uh, pentagonal prism so we are having two bases base 1 and base 2 and the uh, lateral surfaces okay so when you draw a pentagon uh, you in the this will be the uh, this is the development of a pentagonal uh, prism uh, how we are obtaining it uh, we'll obtain we'll check it by solving a problem so the draw the development of a pentagonal prism of side of base 25 mm and height 60 mm so draw a pentagon of 25 mm size in the top view you will have a pentagon and in the front view uh, you will have a what is that you will have a rectangle so you just name it as a b c d e uh, in bottom surf uh, bottom surface and the top surface as 1 2 3 etc now in the next step uh, when you develop a prism what you will get you will get a rectangle so you draw a rectangle what will be the length of rectangle uh, you know that uh, one base id is 25 since it is a pentagonal prism, what will be the total length? 5 into 25. If it is hexagon, it will be 6 into 25. So you take the length uh, 20 base uh, 5 into uh, 25 and uh, you draw along the uh, 5 into 25 total length and you draw complete the rectangle. You can draw it along the xy line. You can see the difference is in the case of a, when you are developing a cylinder or a prism, you have to develop it along the same xy line. In the case of a cone or a pyramid, it is, so you are doing it in a separate plane, a separate uh, region. So you draw it along the line. You just draw it as a name it as A B C D E, and each part is nothing but it is 25 mm. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is the development of a pentagonal prism. Uh, now let us see an assignment problem. Draw the development of a pentagonal pyramid. Uh, here it is a pentagonal pyramid. The visual, uh, video lecture is all about a hexagonal pyramid development. So you try to solve this. Draw the development of a pentagonal pyramid of base head 30 mm and height 65 mm. Similarly, draw the development of a hexagonal prism of base head 25 mm and height 70 mm. Uh, try to solve this problem and uh, all the best. Thank you.